Hello. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen first. Okay, hello everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, hello, uh, this is Marcos from the ADH to Android SDK team. Um, I'm going to introduce you the Skeleton app. So this app uh, will be the tool uh, we will be working on during the whole workshop. Okay, so let's go. Uh, what's the Skeleton app? Uh, the Skeleton app, it's an Android app, yeah? Uh, and it uses the SDK. It has two main goals. Uh, the first of, uh, of them is the, to, to serve as an entry point for, for the developers. So they don't have to develop an app uh, from scratch. But uh, the SDK also works uh, the uh, sorry the skeleton app uh, also show how the SDK is used and all its features uh, and those pictures that you can see here uh, show how the skeleton app looks like so what's in the app uh, well the app uh, has a bunch of libraries uh, there is two main libraries uh, coming from the DHS2 ecosystem uh, one of them is the the HS2 Android SDK, and the other is the DHS2 rule engine. But there are also the libraries in the Skeleton app. One of them is the Eric's Java, the Android Data Binding, the Live Data. But these uh, libraries are optional, uh, but we found them very useful uh, when working both uh, with the rule engine and also the Android SDK. So, I'm going to make uh, you a short demo uh, to show you how the skeleton app looks like and how the SDK is used. So here uh, we have the, the uh, first uh, activity of the skeleton app. So you can add the server URL, then the username, and your password so you can log in. And when you log in, the SDK will uh, configure the D2 instance and will log in. So you can start working with the SDK. So here, this one is the main activity. And here you, guess, you can see, yeah. We, we can, I can see the, the, the app. You can see the app. Yeah. Okay, so let me, wait a second. Can you see it now? No, yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna start again. Okay, so here, this one was the plus activity, the, where you can log in. So here you, you can enter the server URL and here the username and the password. Then when you sync in, uh, you will enter to this mine activity that we're talking about. Uh, here uh, you see the, the number of programs that said tracking the instances, the events and data values you have uh, download. Now we have any, uh, we, we don't have nothing, uh, but we can start by syncing the metadata with this button. We also have here another button to sync the data. And this one uh, will be used to upload the data later when we create some data. So when the, the metadata is synced, uh, it will show the list of the programs will take just a few seconds more, I guess. Okay. So you can see the programs that are part of your metadata. But also you can come here to this hamburger button, enter to the menu. And here you, you can see a list of 
the different activities you, you will have in the Skeleton app, like the programs or your data sets, for example. And also another like uh, your tag entity instances, uh, tag entities search, the data set instances, errors that you could uh, have when synchronization, the foreign key violation in your database, and an activity to execute some code, and some data management like uh, with the data that you have download or log out. So here uh, you can see that we have uh, now seven programs and for the set, and if we sign the data, we still get uh, some track entity instances, some events and some data values. So for example, here are the track entities that we just download. And we can see here that we have some, also 10 events and five data values. You can check here in your data set, no, sorry, in your data set instances and enter to one of your data set instances and check the five data values that we just uh, download. And yeah, uh, more or less that will be an overview of the skeleton app. So if we wipe the data, it will be erased and we can just log out and start again from scratch. Okay, uh, so what about the architecture? So if we come here, uh, we can see some folders. Uh, the first one is the, the app folder. And inside uh, this folder, we can see the manifest. So this one is the, the Android manifest where you have all your activities or all the, the Android uh, settings for the application. Here uh, you have the Java folder that contains the, the test with some example that you can use and also the Android test. And here in this folder, we can find the, the data of the skeleton app, some services, the SDK class, where you will configure the, the SDK and instantiate the D2 class. And also the user interface folder, which will have all the folders of the programs, uh, the events and the different activities, the login activity, the main activity, for example, this programs activity extends the list activity and that base uh, classes are stored here in this base folder. So here are some holders and some uh, base activities. If we close that folder, we have also the resources folder which have the drawables, the layout, also some values like the colors of the application or maybe the strings. And here you also have the Gradle scripts. In the build.gradle, uh, we can find the dependencies that we are using some of the libraries I mentioned before, like the this one is the SDK and this one is the rule engine. So if I share again presentation, we can say that we have a slide that you can check for the skeleton architecture. And here uh, is what uh, we have in GitHub. Uh, if you go to the GitHub, uh, you're gonna see all the information available of the skeleton app and that there is like two main branches. The master branch that looks like this one, which has just the login logout, the, the metadata, data, and the web data, and nothing else. And also the use cases branch, we have uh, a lot more activities that the app will allow you. So 
you can have simple data entry forms and some data sets, more examples of how the SDK can be used. Uh, well, and that's uh, it for, for me. If you miss anything or you have any question, you can just share it in the channel or uh, I will be happy to, to answer the questions.